Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here we are in the wetsuit. It's brilliant. As you can see, I zip this up and it's like it's not even raining on the Vespa. And we're going to go pick up the huge car so that we can go from there to go pick up the sled. And then we'll put the sled in the car and fingers crossed tomorrow it won't be raining. We can head back down the barrel and continue the sled ride for autism awareness. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm on my way to pick up the car so that I can go pick up the sled. And my back tire just went flat in the middle of the highway. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's gone right in. So I tried to ride the bike, but it's just flying all over the road. I can't really move. Uh, what does that mean? Well, I don't really know. I'll have to figure it out and I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> Hey everybody, so we pushed the Vespa up the highway. It was very hot actually. Uh, I left it outside some street, hopefully it's okay. Yeah, well, we can't get the sled today because the shop is closing. So instead we'll have to pick up the sled tomorrow and then continue down south for our autism awareness sled ride. Hey everybody, all right, we're now in the car with Honest Joe and this will be now our stop going all the way over to Reesby to pick up the renter car. And I'll bring that back home because we weren't able to get the sled today, but that's all right, that's life. Tomorrow, early, get up, go get the sled, head down to Barrel, and we begin. All right, it's happening very soon. All right, everybody, guess what? They're closed. So now we can't even pick up the car. Let's hope they have the car tomorrow. I have to go back and pick up the car. Anyway, this is our day. This is how I plan things, not. Here we go.